In this video, we are going to talk about the related rates, which is part of the implicit differentiation, but we are going to find the rate of change with respect to time. In this example, let x and y be functions of a third variable, which is the variable t. Use implicit differentiation to find dy by dt for the equation. 8x to the fourth minus 6 times xy minus 4 times y squared equals 1. Recall both x and y are the function of the t. In fact, x as x of t, y as y of t. And when we use the implicit differentiation, the first step, we are going to find the derivative with respect to t to our term. The second step, we are going to solve for the unknown, which is the dy by dt. Let's get started with the first step. Apply d by dt to all terms. d by dt of 8x to the fourth minus d by dt of 6 times xy minus d by dt of 4y to the second equals d by dt of 1. Make a note, sin x as the function of t, so the dx dt, you're going to treat this as the whole function dx of t with respect to t. Similarly, y as the function of t, so dy dt is the function dy dt, where y is considered a function of the t. So for the first part, we're going to use the concept multiple rule and the general power rule to get 8 multiplied by 4 x to the third times dx dt minus the second term. We see it as a product. So I'm going to treat them as the function 6x times the function y. Or we treat this as the f and this is the g. And by the product rule, when you find the derivative, you get a f times g prime plus the f prime times g in quantity. That means we're going to have the f, which is 6x, the g prime, which is the derivative of the y with respect to t, plus the f prime, which is the derivative with respect to t of 6x times the g, which is the y. We can simplify later on. So let's move on to the next one. So minus the derivative of 4y squared can be 4 from the concept multiple, multiplied by 2 times y to the first, and multiplied by dy by dt from applying the general power rule. Equals the right-hand side derivative, which is 0. <clears throat> let's let me just simplify a little bit more. 8 times 4 is 32. 32 x to the third dx dt minus 6x dy dt. And let's clean up before we distribute the, the negative sign in. The derivative of 6x with respect to t is 6 times 1 times dx dt from x to the first power by using the general power rule. That tells us after we apply the negative sign, the second term in the parentheses will become 6 times y times dx dt. And then minus 4 times 2, that's 8, times y times dy by dt equals 0. The problem is looking for dy by dt, whereas dy by dt, it appears here, it appears here. So we are going to solve for the unknown which is step number two of the implicit differentiation. So solve for dy by dt. So we're going to collect the terms involving dy by dt in one side. Negative 6x dy by dt minus 8y dy by dt equals subtract both sides by negative 32x to the third dx dt 
and the same time add six y dx dt both sides. The dx dt is one quantity, one quantity there. And next, finish up the problem by solving for dy by dt. So we're gonna uh, factor dy by dt since it is a common factor to both terms here. We get the coefficient negative 6x minus 8y multiplied by dy by dt equals negative 32 x to the third times dx dt plus 6 times y times dx dt. And then finish up the problem by solving for dy by dt, which is the quantity negative 32 x to the third times dx dt plus 6 times y times the quantity dx dt. On the right hand side, we can factor out the x dt to have negative 32x to the third plus 6y times the x dt, and then the whole quantity divided by the coefficient of dy by dt on the left hand side. And now we get the dy by dt.